In today's video, I get to fly American Airlines flagship business class on their 787-8 Dreamliner. I've heard mixed things about their Hawaiian routes, so I checked it out for myself, and I'll show you all there is to know about the seating, food, entertainment, and the lie flat bed, plus lots more on this short red-eye flight over to the US mainland. This flight from Kahului to Dallas usually sets you back nearly $3,000 one way, but of course I didn't pay that. My ticket continues and takes me on to Tijuana in Mexico, and I paid just 560 US dollars for the privilege. Yes, that's right, I took two more flights but paid a fifth of the price. Join me on this luxury liner as we head from Hawaii to Dallas Fort Worth. Enjoy the video. Today's video kicks off in Honolulu, where I have the privilege of riding Hawaiian's lovely 717 over to the island of Maui, where I'll pick up today's American Airlines flight across to Dallas. Incredibly, even in economy, there is a very brief drinks service on this 25-minute hop across the islands. Kahului Airport has a transit system linking the terminal and the car rental counters and it's styled on the old sugar plantation railroads which sprung up on the island from the late 1800s. Anyway, that's enough joyriding. It's time to check in and get my hold bag screened. You'll need to do this going to or from Hawaii as they have controls on plants and seeds coming in or out of the state owing to its unique ecosystem. Fair warning, much of the airport is actually outside, which can be pleasant, except when it's really hot and humid like today. American Airlines doesn't provide a lounge in Kahului, but my priority pass should get me into the Hawaiian lounge. Or perhaps not. So I'm on the wait list. It's actually a pretty pragmatic policy. They could have told me just to go away. They're full, like the sign implied, but they've told me to come back at 4.15 and they'll let me in. Apparently it gets a lot less busy the later in the evening you get. Today's video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN, an award-winning virtual private network. Now, there are a ton of good reasons to use Surfshark, from leveraging lower prices online to protecting your online identity. Among the dozens of reasons Surfshark is an essential part of my travel arsenal is its ability to unblock blocked content, including video calling. Now, in some countries, video calling is just not possible. It's either banned or made impossible by the internet regulations there. And even if you're in a country that does allow it, some hotel Wi-Fi networks will not allow you to access video calling capabilities at all. And that's where Surfshark comes in. Just flick on the virtual location and hey presto, you can get into Zoom, Teams or whichever video calling app you use and maintain your productivity on the move or even talk to friends and family online. It's up to you all the while staying safe while online. Surfshark is an incredible tool. It's my Swiss army knife and it's available for a special deal. Secure your privacy with Surfshark. Enter coupon code WINGINIT at surfshark.com forward slash WINGINIT for four extra months free. The Hawaiian Airlines lounge is small and pretty functional, but there are no complaints here. It's fine just to wait for your flight and get a drink without paying an absolute fortune in the terminal. So today's flight is operated by a 787-8 Dreamliner. It's actually the smallest 
Dreamliner variant. And I've just discovered that the aircraft that we're going to be flying on today is one of the newer ones that's been delivered to America. And that's a good thing. And future Paul is going to explain just why. American has been taking deliveries of the 787-8 since 2015, and when they were first delivered, they had a very strange seat, the Zodiac Concept D in business class, which I've flown in before on their 777-200. These are really odd. They alternate forwards and back, have hardly any storage, and also are notoriously wobbly. Unique isn't always good, and apart from their other faults, they really don't deliver at all on privacy either. American took on board the feedback as their worst business class seats, and newer deliveries have these much nicer reverse herringbone seats from Collins Aerospace. Today's aircraft was delivered to American Airlines in November 2022 and does have the new seats. American has 37 of these 787-8 aircraft and uses them on a multitude of routes, including some flagship business services to Hawaii. Today's flight is a short overnight at just 6 hours and 30 minutes and a real test of prompt and efficient business class service. Okay, so they finally let me board. We're off to Dallas. This is my first time flying this newer American Airlines business class seat, and I'm really looking forward to it. For me. Hey there. For A. Thank you very much. Thank you. There are just 20 reverse herringbone business class seats up front on this small Dreamliner. I'm in seat 4A this evening with a window and direct aisle access. There are also five paired seats in the center, but watch out for row five, which is missing windows. My duvet and bedding are both waiting for me at my seat, and I've got to say, I'm quite looking forward to the next six and a half hours. Sometimes you can tell it's going to be a good fight just from the crew the moment you step on board. I think this is one of those. Cheers, and here's to a good fight. We blast off to the northeast and turn for the continental United States. These seats are so much better than the ones they've displaced. Plenty of storage and just vastly roomier all round. These don't feel like flying coffins, and it's easy to see why these reverse herringbone seats are so popular for airlines to install. They also stagger perfectly, so no passenger need look at another, if privacy is your thing. Oh, and one more bonus, American installed air vents at these seats. Wins all round in my view. One minor negative, the Wi-Fi wasn't working on this aircraft, but that's not so bad I guess on a short overnight sector like this. American's headphones are genuinely some of the very best in the world on any airline, and I absolutely love them. 
But there's no time for television just yet. Dinner is served really promptly. The in-flight service is kicked off with a hot towel and drinks which were ordered on the ground and they're brought straight away. I've gone for the orange juice and the house Mai Tai for one last taste of Hawaii. Main courses can be pre-ordered from 30 days before travel while starters and desserts will always be from the menu. This crab salad with grilled pineapple was delicious and one of the most inventive dishes I've seen on an American carrier lately. Of course, I went for the steak as a pre-order main. I always think that getting a steak on a plane is a pretty big gamble. Quite often they can be dry and grey inside. We'll have a look and see what this one's like, shall we? It's been pretty good so far in terms of catering. Okay, it's grey, but it was still tender and flavourful and a solid 7 out of 10 for a steak served at 40,000 feet. Service closes with a custom sundae, an American Airlines staple, and a nightcap of Bailey's. Honestly, I was too tired to watch anything, but rest assured there is no shortage of stuff to watch on the entertainment system. As this is a flagship business flight, American also provide an amenity kit, which is fairly well stocked given this is not one of their longer routes. You'll need to bring your own pyjamas, but the bathrooms up front here are very large and there's no problem with finding space to change. The seats convert to a 6 foot 6 inch bed and are really comfortable and the bedding is more than adequate. I was really happy with this. With just under an hour to go before landing, breakfast is served, and I've got a light meal of fruit, yogurt, and granola. More than enough given I ate less than four hours ago. I was surprised and impressed with the catering on this flight, and I will say the crew were superb, even leaving each passenger a short handwritten note. It's the small things that can really make a difference. And so we are down in Dallas at 6 a.m. on time. A very good flight all told and far in excess of my fairly moderate expectations. I was delighted to get such a ridiculously low fare for this flight and surprised at the good catering, comfortable bed and the solid service on board. Kahului will never be an airport with great ground experience, but overall I'd rank this as one of my favorite flights this year and it takes a lot to impress me on a red eye. Thanks for watching and don't forget, secure your privacy with Surfshark. Enter coupon code WINGINIT for four months free at surfshark.com forward slash WINGINIT. Thanks for watching and again, I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.